this video, you'll learn how to set up your Nimbox account in just a few minutes. To get started, the first thing you want to do is create your email list. And you can do that by clicking the quick button to create a list. Here, you can name your list. And you can choose to create a single or a double opt-in list. With the single opt-in option, people subscribe to your email list directly. And with the double opt-in option, people first get a confirmation email that they have to click before they will be added to your list. For now, I choose double opt-in. I scroll down and I click submit. Now you see your list has been added in the My List section of your account. And you can start collecting new email contacts. The next thing you want to do is to add a correct from email address where you can send your emails from. And you can do that by clicking the settings icon and then go to my from fields. Here you can create a new from field and add it to your account. A great from field for example would be inspired support at inbox.com. Please never add your free Gmail, Hotmail or Yahoo email addresses because if you send emails from an email address like this, they will probably end up in the spam folder. So always add an email address from your personal domain name. Once that has been set up, you can pick a default and you're ready. Now you're ready for the third step. When you go to the My List section, you see your email list again. And here you can create an autoresponder email. So people get an automated thank you email after they signed up for your email newsletter. To do that, go to the right of the page and click add in the autoresponder column. Here, you can choose three different options. And we pick the first one to create an HTML email template to create. Here, you can pick one of the many templates. And in the editor, you can change many different things like when you want to send this email, for example, zero is directly after signing up you can add a subject and of course you can make many many changes to your email template when you're satisfied you scroll down and you click publish now you can see an overview of your active autoresponders which you can change later on similarly you can create an email broadcast to send to your whole email list and you can do that by clicking create and send then you click the create a new broadcast button and you can pick a new email format again if you'd like. You pick a template, add a subject and once you're satisfied you can scroll down, you click next step, you select the email list where you want to send your emails to, you click next step again and you choose which option you prefer to save it as a draft to send it immediately or to schedule it at a specific date and time. Once you click publish, your email will be added to the awaiting for approval list where the Inspire support team will approve your email on default. We've added this procedure to make sure no spam emails are being sent from our platform. But of course, if your emails are great, we will change your account to auto approve so you can send your emails anytime you like but maybe you already have an email list that you want to import into your inbox account to do that click the add contact button in the quick button section of your overview then you have the option to add contacts manually to do this using a web form which I'll show you later or you can import them with the import feature click the button and here you can import using a third-party application, but you can also use a CSV file. Note that the import limit for your first import will be 1000 contacts as a default. However, we've done this to protect our platform so people don't import spam. And this way we know we can deliver you better inbox rates. Please contact our Inspire support team if you wish to import more than 1000 contacts so we can create an import plan for you that suits you best. However, if you want to add contacts in real time, you can go to add contacts and create a web form. For this demonstration, I already created a web form, but if you want to create a new one, you can click create new web form 
and follow the different steps. For now, I just want to show you how you can add your web form to your website. And to view your code, you click this little button here. Now you'll get a pop-up and you see different codes. Now you can use the HTML code to add your web form to your website. And you can also add the iframe code. Or you can share a link to your web form. And even cooler, you can add a pop-up code to your website which displays your web form as a pop-up. A really cool feature we have within an inbox is the branding feature. And with this feature, you can brand many different pages with your personal branding. To do that, click the settings icon and go to the your branding section. Now, you scroll down and you see the general settings. For example, maybe you have an Italian website and you want to communicate your whole marketing in Italian. And you can do that by clicking the preferred language option and click Italian. This makes sure all your confirmation pages and unsubscribes pages will be displayed in Italian. Note that your own members area will still be in English. Next, you can add your own logo if you'd like. And you can display this both on your confirmation page and on the unsubscribe pages to make these pages look more professional and in the branding you prefer. We hope you learned a lot during this demonstration. And please contact our Inspired support team if you have any questions.